Hello, this is Lego Hobo 910, and today we're looking at everything from t-shirts to tape balls. We're looking at the behind the scenes this episode, 4th of July. So, this is the black background I used. That part was kind of obvious. What wasn't obvious was the t-shirt hanging behind it. Some of you may have caught what it was, others may have not figured it out and just saw the blackness and thought it worked. But it was actually just a big black t-shirt. This wasn't the exact t-shirt used in the video, it's way too small, but it gets the general idea. So to actually create the fireworks, I just had a bunch of these individually laid out. They're just black flat surfaces with the firework laid out and then individual fireworks assigned to them. And as you can see, I didn't actually have that many and I just reused a bunch. I had seven that were just plain fireworks, one American flag, and one 4th of July. And so then I would just, when it was their time to be the firework, I just would attach them to the black background and since the background was studded and they have studs on the back, just attach them in and it works very simply. Then to make all the sparks falling and dissipating from the fireworks, I would just take away the firework and use these since they match the colors and just have them go down the screen. To make the firework look like it was exploding, it was a combination of many things. I would just shine these reading lights, which I use in most of my videos for better lighting, on the area that was blowing up. And then I just had a tape ball with a lot of these flame pieces stuck on it, which I would then attach to the rocket. And then it would look like it was blowing up or somewhat like it enough to make it work and seem like it fit. This is how the fireworks came up. This is one of the things that you probably would notice the most because the clear pieces do catch up on camera. But basically I would just have it high enough to pop up onto screen and then every frame raise it one brick at a time and for when the fireworks turned I would just kind of lean this a bit and then it was just on this simple green base. The one exception to that was this big rocket that created the 4th of July sign. And what I did for that is I just took a piece of tape, stuck it onto the back, and then had it just move because I knew I wouldn't be able to use a clear piece trick for this because I knew I was planning on having it come around and do a bunch of loops and stuff. So I knew I would need to do it in a different way, so I just did that, and it ended up working. Plus, there wasn't as much of a trace, and now that I look back on it, I think that I should have done that with all of the other rockets, because it's not as visible, and it looks a lot better. There is some of the behind the scenes, and also, if you want the series to keep going, please drop a like, and also, on videos, please start commenting what you would and wouldn't like to see, because I don't know, I just guess what you do want to see. And then that's what I post, and if you want to see more of this, drop a like, and depending on how many likes I get, I'll know if you want the series to be continued. So see ya.